enjoying some nature. Been working really hard on some creative things. Speaking with people about some financing for some cool projects. I wish I could talk more openly about the fun things that we're doing, but I can't. Um, but we're having a lot of fun with the creative, working with well, some very amazing people. We're very excited about how things are going with the video game development and uh, also uh, some smaller films that are going to correlate with the video games. There's a lot of blockchain, NFT kind of stuff going on right now that this mixture of media will play it very well into. And we're talking with some pretty innovative people that are about to make some big changes in the entertainment industry. A lot of movies are going to be interactive. You're going to have different timelines you can play with. I hear Netflix is working on them and other production companies are to where you can kind of like a twist a plot. You can make, uh, you know, have different endings to the story. Uh, and they've done that in games, but they're starting to do that in movies. They're doing some really cool things that uh, uh, we're going to see some big changes in the entertainment in the entertainment industry. The merging of video games and movies, television series. Uh, it, it's like really actually kind of complicated how it all works, but it, uh, the technology's there now, and uh, we're about to see some really, really innovative entertainment properties. And uh, I'm very happy to be on the forefront of that, to where we can show disclosure and esoteric and, I guess, ascension types of... Uh, topics and stories and information and affect the mass consciousness on a bigger level than I originally thought possible. Um, but I was told things would morph and get bigger and bigger they are getting. So, um, yeah, very excited. Stacy's over there taking pictures. I don't know if you can see her. <sighs> but imagine in these video games, people learning about ascension and uh, higher density beings and karma and trauma, how it ties in. Have a lot of games that people can accidentally heal through and films inspirational sci-fi action adventure even some horror believe it or not there are a lot of ways to reach people and it's a new era it is a new era for the I guess the disclosure movement um, the disclosure movement has been laid bare, open for all to see. There are still a few that are in denial and buying into their little narratives because they don't know what to do. Ooh, it's getting windy. But, uh, yeah, the disclosure initiative was set up by the Rockefellers and those who are trying to control the narrative by creating disclosure. Um, all the big names that everyone knows uh, make big documentaries. Um, and uh, control the narrative 
uh, in a pretty big way. Uh, corporations and uh, event organizers and radio show hosts, bloggers are all kind of tied in and, you know, the whole, it's all been compromised. So, since it's completely compromised and I was being moved in this direction anyway by the Blue Avians and I was being told it would go this way. into, you know, films and uh, games wasn't on my radar, I have to say. Uh, but 2.5 billion people play games. My God. We can reach a lot of the mass consciousness. It's getting dark. I'm going to head back. My hair is all crazy. I've been out in the wind I'm trying to get in shape. There's some of these documentaries and docu-series that we're going to be shooting later this year and I need to make sure I'm in shape you know what you don't want to look at my ugly ass how about look at some of this beauty but this is what's been inspiring me all this beauty beauty I can't speak either I didn't bring water and my mouth was dry. Okay. Well, well, I guess that's all I have to say, really. Uh, I'm glad everyone is enjoying Ascension Works TV. Um, Mike, Debbie's been working really hard too, but Mike, man, he does the work of like 10 different people. He is so talented. He has so many technical abilities um, I don't know I really appreciate him he's really amazing but he's doing a great job with Ascension Works TV <sighs> I think uh, you know people are gonna like we we're having a lot we're having more not a lot yet uh, hey, Stacy <laughs> we're having more um, courses I guess that are uh, that we're going to start promoting so keep an eye on ascensionworks.tv I need to get some water I'm going to show a little bit more of this view before I go it's Easter weekend and uh, I wasn't able to shoot a full video for um, Ascension Works TV but hopefully this little peaceful video will make up for that. And thank you to all of the people that have been encouraging me with the video games. Um, there are a lot of gamers in the community. I was not aware. But, uh, yeah, a lot of you will be beta testing for us. And, uh, you're going to be amazed. The gameplay, we have uh, awesome uh, developers. We're going to be building games for gamers, not gimmicky bullshit. And uh, where did Stacy go? Oh, there she is. And uh, it's going to be filled with the lore for my life story and IP and tons of disclosure. It's going to be amazing you know, potentially billions of people. That's way more people than watch movies or television, believe it or not. I mean, there's like, that's like over a quarter of the world's population we could reach. Pretty amazing. I'm very excited for Stacy being brave. <laughs> Okay, it's getting dark. We're going to head back. But uh, we wanted to say hello to everyone at Ascension Works TV. Um, we'll have more content coming soon. I'm going to be interviewing Fabio Santos on the, a book he just wrote about uh, alien abductions. Everyone knows that a lot of people have 
try to promote that alien abductions are not oops, thought I saw something over there. Uh, alien abductions are not happening anymore that the negative ETs are no longer here and a lot of people are buying into it but anyway Fabio um, has information from people who have been very recently abducted and uh, the stories are horrific, you know. Uh, disclosure is not all butterflies and flowers. You got to take the scary crap with the beautiful stuff. It's a full bandwidth of what's going on out in this cosmos. And uh, if you only want to focus on the positive stuff, that's not disclosure. You're, yeah. So, I guess in closing, as always, focus on the inner work because everything outside of you is basically bullshit. But I think that's something everyone is learning. There's never been such a time of misinformation, disinformation, and propaganda, ever. The internet has made it possible. Social engineering through the internet is what made it happen. And we've all fallen for it. I think it's time to unplug. I've had a lot of peace and serenity since I've unplugged she didn't fall in, did she? Where is she? Since I've unplugged from the news and politics and other oh, shit. All that bull crap. She's a little explorer. I love that about her. So, I've unplugged from all of the politics of the community. Very compromised community. I know people hate me saying that, but it's true. Um politics, media, all compromised. The best we can do right now is try to fight back through the media by putting out information that forces people to go inward and uh, try to claim a little sovereignty back. You know, that's, that's really the best we can do right now. We being Stacy, me, my team. May you live in interesting times. Well, we are there. Anyway, the best way to have inner peace is to unplug from all the crap, all the propaganda. Focus inwardly. Do the work. This is the time to do it. Because the moment you've done the inner work, none of the bullshit has an effect on you. It really doesn't. It's, it's liberating and it's also bewildering when you get to that point and the stuff that used to trigger you there she is no longer does it's an amazing feeling of freedom and also the freedom of being able to forgive people that have really tried to destroy you um, cutting the energetic cords to where they're rolling around and dealing with their own karma alone and We've moved on to peace and serenity. Amazing success just around the corner to announce. And it's all because we were true to ourselves, our mission. We drew boundaries, but most of all, we enforced them. So, I hope People can learn from the mistakes that we've made the last eight years and also from the amazing progress we've made as people growing because it has been quite quite the metamorphosis that Stacy and I have gone through okay that's it it's dark we need to get out of here all right I hope everyone had a great Easter weekend with their families and uh, go inward, that's the only way out.
Stacy and I love you, and uh, we'll see you again uh, pretty soon. We're going to have regular content as always. Thank you for joining AscensionWorks.tv.